This is the most difficult drawing I've ever done, and it was a terrible idea. But it also played a huge role in my career and helped me in so many more ways than I could have expected. This is the story behind this drawing and what I took out of it. Also, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I worked on this drawing on and off for over a year. I think in total it added up to around six months of dedicated work on this one piece. I started this project around November 2015 and only finished it in January 2017. November 2015 was a tough time. I had been falling around with concepts and none of my work for the last six months had sold, so I would burned through my savings and I would started accumulating debt. This is when I decided to do something big, something more intense than I'd ever done. Previously, I'd been kind of recognized for doing eye drawings. Um, that was before my whole obsession with horns and mental health found its way into my work. I had this thing where I'd draw at least one eye every year and use it as kind of a benchmark to see my progress in terms of technique and skill. I thought maybe it was time for me to do another eye drawing, but this time I wanted it to be something spectacular, so I got in touch with my uncle, who's an ophthalmologist, and did this crazy amount of planning to really put together a project that I could get excited about, something that could really challenge me. And yeah, I think maybe there was a bit of eco as well that came into it, and I kind of wanted to do a drawing that was more detailed than anything I'd seen on the internet. Given how badly I was struggling financially, I had this really strong resolve to try and get this drawing done. I was going to work day and night and try and finish it in about two months. So that didn't really happen. Um, I started off strong though. I had such good discipline. I had a really good exercise routine and sleep, but there was this unforeseen force that was slowly eating away at me. I'm gonna try and explain my understanding of how this works. So we have this reward system in our brains. We do something and we often get a reward in the form of dopamine or endorphins. For example, computer games. That has a very immediate reward system, so we find it very easy to just keep playing and, and form habits around that. Another one would be like opening the fridge door and getting food. Very soon you realize that you sometimes open the fridge door even though you know there's no food inside. But it's this learned habit because of this reward system. So for me, with most drawings, I have a similar kind of reward system. I, I get this really good feeling from seeing a drawing take shape over a couple of days. But with this new drawing, I'd spent so much time with it and gotten so little back that it just broke my morale and my resolve. After the two months that I'd budgeted to complete this artwork, I was less than a quarter of the way done. Bear in mind, I'm now at eight months with very little income, so my debt is just escalating so fast. I very seldom leave a drawing unfinished. The way I work, I usually am sure about a piece before I start it, because it's too risky to spend weeks on something only to abandon it. So this was really bad. I needed to make a tough call and put this drawing aside, basically writing off the last two months. I spent the rest of the year doing some smaller drawings for a couple months and then returning back to this soul-crushing eye drawing. I could work on it for about six to seven weeks before it defeated me emotionally. At this point, doubt can't help but creep in a bit. There's an extreme level of criticism reserved for these kinds of projects. You just look at it and think, is this worth all the time I'm spending on it? And that answer being a resounding no. This was a huge waste of time. <laughs> there was no way that I could sell this work for the same value as the amount of time that it took to finish it. But I'm so grateful that I somehow found the will to finish this drawing because what happened afterwards was kind of worth it. Uh, but first, let me give a quick shout out from this video sponsor, Squarespace. Their support goes a long way to help sustain these videos and this channel, but more importantly, they're a company I'm really happy to promote because I feel like they can really help other artists and creatives looking to pursue a career in their field. It's so important to have an online portfolio to help clients find you and to create an easy platform for them to get in touch with you. And for me, Squarespace just did that effortlessly. I never had to patch or upgrade anything. I could register a domain with them or set up an online store. And most importantly, I could design my portfolio and show my work the way that I wanted to. And every time I got stuck, their amazing support team helped me out instantly. So if you're looking at building a website, give Squarespace a try. And if you decide that you love it, use the software code and get 10% off your first purchase. Okay, I finally finished the drawing and I'm able to sell it fairly quickly. Nothing for near the value of the amount of time that I sunk into it, but enough for me to cover my debt with a little bit of help from the smaller drawings I was selling as well. The drawing didn't necessarily reward me in terms of money, but when I uploaded it to Instagram and Facebook, the response was amazing. I can't explain how good it felt to show people what I'd been working on for so long. 
It also made it to the front page of Reddit, which was an incredible experience. I started getting more exposure and more collectors started looking for my work, which led to me creating my print series to try and deal with that demand. This drawing taught me to take risks. Granted, I couldn't have done it at a worse time, but somehow and miraculously, I made it through. But the most important thing that this drawing did was just beat me up a bit. It taught me to be more realistic with my projects and with my time. It was easy to hype my abilities up in my head, which led me to being overconfident to almost a like career-threatening degree. And so every drawing that I've done since, I've had a much more realistic idea of my ability and also the time that I have to finish it. I wanted to make this video to encourage anyone looking to take on a project like this to go for it, but also to be smart about it. Make sure you can afford it or you have the safety nets in place. If you have the opportunity to push your abilities, if that's pushing your endurance or your patience maybe in my case, um, there really is no better way to learn about ourselves than throwing ourselves into projects like this. I like to, I like to imagine that there's a sort of honesty in this kind of work. I, I really hope that the effort that went into it somehow shines through. Even though I'm way too close to this work and I can't really look at it without seeing this trunchbull-like <laughs> disciplinarian, I, I really hope that others can kind of look at it and see a little bit of what it took out of me, maybe a bit of what I left behind. The title pupil felt fitting because that's what I felt like during this piece. It taught me more than I can explain in, in this video, but I hope this gives a bit of a glimpse of what it was like to create this artwork. I hope you enjoyed this little background story behind the drawing. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and what you'd like me to talk about in the next one. Also, a, a huge thank you to everyone leaving likes and comments and all the positive feedback. It's, it's so helpful for the channel and so encouraging for me as well to just kind of keep creating these videos. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.